Hey, welcome back to the Usable Marketing Podcast. This is Ginger Zumeda, and today we are talking about finding the unasked question or turning problems into questions. All right, so think about problems. Think actually about how easy it is to identify problems in your business or problems in your marketing, right? It's so easy. It's my website isn't working or my website isn't converting or my ads aren't actually driving enough traffic. I don't have enough customers. Um, sometimes it's, it's costing me too much to, to serve those clients or those customers or my customers aren't staying and repurchasing. Whatever that happens to be, I bet you if I asked you to, to name three to five to 10 to 20 problems um, with your business right now that you're, that you're thinking about, you could probably name a pretty good list, right? In fact, it actually takes a lot of mental space when you're kind of keeping a running tally of your problems. And the problem with problems, if you will, is that they are inflexible. They don't move. They're, they're, if you think of a, a, a problem statement, the 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 issue is right there it's a statement they're inherently restrictive they've got a period at the end the other problem with problems if you will is that they don't provide any insight to the underlying causes of the problem in fact the problem isn't the problem the problem is the symptom of something underlying that actually needs to be questioned so what I want you to be thinking about is how do you turn your problems into questions? The beauty of questions is that questions actually move, they expand, they, they invite all sorts of possibility in terms of, of the different ways that you could answer those questions. Uh, so here's the exercise I want you to be thinking about. Next time you have a problem, or whenever you have a problem, instead you can think about how might I fill in the blank, question mark, so that I can fill in the blank, right? How might I do this so that I can do that? Or how might I change this so that I can get that? Whatever that happens to be. I'll tell you a funny story, actually. <laughs> a few years ago, I was um, talking with somebody on my team, and we were actually uh, talking about a problem, a big problem that we had was we have a, a very large client that, that occupies the lion's share of our revenue. And we're like, man, if anything ever happens to this client, we're kind of screwed. It's a big problem, right? We were like, man, what are we going to do about this? The other thing that we were saying, it was really hilarious. So we spent a lot of time doing a bunch of desk research, and we decided at that point in time we were going to start going after registered investment advisors. We had some really um, good insights and research that talked about how the investment community, the wealth, the wealth management community specifically, wasn't really serving um, minorities and women, right? So when you start taking a look at Hispanics, African Americans, and women, they're just grossly underserved by wealth management advisors. So we came up with a bunch of research on this. We came up with this great deck too. And then we're like, great, you know, we need to, um, to get clients. And I remember my colleague asked me like, well, why do you think that we can't get any more clients? Right? She was talking about the problem. And it was so funny because I, I had to sit there, and, and this is actually really embarrassing. I had to sit there and tell her, you know, I think it's because we're not asking for any business. She was like, why don't we have more business? I'm like, I think it's because we're not asking for business. We had the problem of not enough client diversification, but when we asked why is that, the, the, the real problem was that we weren't actually going out and soliciting any business anywhere, right? So if we had turned that into how might, this is what we do now, by the way, but if you change that problem into a question that's more like, how might I put uh, implement a system to get new qualified leads consistently, right? So that we can stabilize and diversify our revenue streams. Much more powerful. Because if you think like, well, gee, how can I implement a system to get more consistent qualified leads, 
okay? If you brainstorm on that piece of the question, there's all sorts of ways you can do that, right? You can do traditional advertising, you can do referral marketing, you can do partnership marketing, you can, you know, do digital, you can do, um, you know, television or radio or podcasts. I mean, you can go on and on in terms of how, how I can get these consistent qualified leads. Could even get like a lead broker. There's, if you attack the question, there's bunches of ways that you can then now put together some ideas and start to analyze which ones, which ones are going to be great. And then the back half of, of the, the, the question was so that we can have a stabilized um, revenue streams from a more diversified client list, right? So again, there's the insights there like, well, the issue is that I need to go after pieces of business that are maybe uncorrelated to the pieces of business I have, right? That would provide a lot more insurance. And if I can get business from three, four, five more clients, that would be more stable and predictable because even if I were to lose one, it wouldn't throw things off so well. So the whole idea is that one of the beauties of a really good question stated how might I do this so that I can do that is that it's gonna, one, it's gonna provide insight into the problem itself. If I ask how might I, you know, get more consistent um, qualified leads, that sort of says like, well, maybe that's the underlying problem. You don't even have a system for this, right? So it provides insight into the problem itself. The other thing it does, having this sort of two-part question, is it really grossly simplifies the problem, right? It simplifies what you're looking for. What you're looking for is what is the delta between where I am now and where I want to be, right? The delta between where I am now and where I want to be, which is more clients consistently coming through, that's the delta. That's really the symptom, right, of I don't have a system, right? So I answered both of those questions with the, the how might I X so that I can Y. And finally, as you know, as I was saying just a minute ago, is it just really expands the possibilities of where you can go with attacking that underlying system. So super quick and summarized, I want you to, you know, maybe list your top three to five problems that you're dealing with right now, right? List your top three to five problems that you're dealing with right now and try to switch them up into questions, really high quality questions. How might I X so that I can Y? Do that, I think you'll be surprised by what it'll reveal in terms of the things that you're not doing. A lot of times we know the things that we're not doing or we suspect the things that we're not doing, but by constantly restating them as problems. I mean, it's just so easy to do like, oh, I don't have enough, I don't have enough clients. I need more clients. That's my problem. I don't have enough time. Like, I wish I had more time. Well, how might I get more time so that I can do the really high quality work instead of the little work? Well, uh, maybe I need another, I need a marketing coordinator. Maybe I need, you know, um, maybe I need a, another, a second assistant or whatever that happens to be. So, you know, you have to break the habit of stating problems. It is so, um, it is so unproductive, right? They are just, those things bring you to a full stop. They bring you to a brick wall. The other thing that they do, by the way, when you get into the habit of stating your problems to other people is you're not even giving them any opportunity to help you. You know, when, when someone says, Hey, have you tried this? And you're like, well, I don't have enough customers. It's like, well, okay. So that conversation just completely ended. Right? So break the habit of talking about problems, break the habit of thinking about problems. Don't think about problems. Think about what is the question? How do I turn this problem into a high quality question? Let that be the thing that you constantly ask yourself and spend a little time really thinking about it. How could I get more consistent quality leads coming through on a monthly basis? There's hundreds of ways to do that, right? You only have to pick one or two and knock them down. If one works, fantastic. If one doesn't work, you're like, what's another way I could have consistent quality leads coming through on a monthly basis? So that's what I have for you today.
Stop talking about your problems. Start asking high quality questions. See you next time.